Welcome! This time I have this um, improved version of EasyCast. It's uh, provided by one by one. Uh, you can check in the description to see where you can get one. Uh, I did a review recently on uh, the wireless um, EasyCast. That's, that's kind of like Chromecast, but this is a LAN version. I don't really even know what it is, but the box is really awesome, as you can see. Uh, careful with these boxes by the way, <laughs> there was one video on YouTube uh, with like iPhone 6 or something where someone had the same kind of box and it has this vacuum thing so if you like pull it off, it, it see it like stucks, just a vacuum and he pulled it off and <laughs> he flipped his phone on the ground so be careful with that but otherwise I like these boxes, they are really easy to open, they are quite, um, quite durable, it's not like well, it's okay. So, that's the device itself. Let's lift this up. Here's some manuals, some cables. I don't even know how this thing exactly works, but... Uh, what the heck is that? Okay, there's nothing in here. Let's, let's just put this on the side. It looks like an American um, power adapter. Doesn't really matter, I have all of them. Uh, Europe, UK, USA, you name it. <laughs> uh, this just looks like a USB power really. This is actually very useful. Not just for this device, but it's useful for everything. For example, I can um, charge my phone from it. I can charge uh, my headset from it. Uh, yeah, that's the mini, mini or micro USB or whatever it's called. So, obviously that's for power. I mean, what else can it do? So, we plug this in here. This goes somewhere in the device. Uh, device and easy gas manual uh, that's the easy gas app probably so you can stream from uh, phones and stuff uh, probably I'm not gonna test it on a phone but maybe I will uh, that's the device itself then let go of me what the, what the hell <laughs> look at this thing look um, it's, it's like static, <laughs> it just sticks everything. It looks pretty awesome. This uh, gloss white looks like a tiny router thing. Look at that. Uh, so basically there is nothing to connect really. You can't go wrong with this. I mean, this is the power. You don't have to connect this in there. Uh, this is in case it's like far away or something, but I have USB on my TV, so I can plug this into the TV to take the power and feed it in here, so let's plug it in here. I uh, don't really need it right now because I'm not gonna power it on in here, in the review area probably. Uh, this here is the HDMI cable. This is the first time I see a white HDMI cable. Uh, this seems like it's gold plated. That's that's usually usually means good quality. Uh, so obviously this connects one end goes in here and the other end goes into your TV. Uh, this you don't really need it, but um, in case your TV doesn't have or your device doesn't have the USB, then you can power it from the wall. Uh, so it's it's LAN based. Uh, this is what I don't really know how it sets uh, sets it up. What I do know is this goes into your TV, and this device plays back whatever is sent to this device. But uh, the part I don't know is how do you send uh, videos to this this uh, device? Apparently, it has the LAN in here, which means you can send uh, send the videos through the LAN. I guess. I hope. I don't know. So it would be like a LAN extension and it also it does have wireless so I already checked it out it does definitely have wireless which means you can I uh, can plug this into the TV and then this appears as an access point then you connect to it uh, by the way this seemed to be like a reset button in here which is a really good thing because the previous version of the EasyCast it didn't have a reset button and uh, basically what happened is I tried to set it up with internet connection. Uh, this device can also connect into internet so you can browse um, internet through this on your TV if you want. 
And basically what happened with the previous one is that I connected to the station but the signal was really really low on the location where it was so it like kinda got stuck, tried downloading something but it was stuck and I was unable to reset the damn thing so it, it was really really annoying I have to say but this one it has to reset switch in here so you can just push it with a pin probably gonna hold it down for like 5 seconds something and then it should show you um, not show but it will it should just uh, reset the factory defaults and show you the f default settings again uh, what is it model easy gas LAN B01 right but I'm going to connect this thing up and I'm going to show you how to set this up how to connect it with your TV how to connect it with your devices what else there is so let's get started Alright, so I have this uh, EasyCast connected up and here I'm going to explain how to connect this thing because um, it's actually very easy but I had some issues. Uh, first I'll explain what you see in here. This is the Hopo capture card which captures the HDMI so I don't have to record um, TV with uh, webcam which some noobs do. So this screen in here is exactly what you see on your TV once you connect it up. I simply have it over the Hopo capture card so you can see it on my PC screen. And this here is what you would have on your PC. This is the EasyCast app. This also goes for your phones, tablets, anything like this. And this is where uh, the source files are coming from. But now to ex explain how this thing connects is that the EasyCast, you don't connect it straight to the computer through the LAN. Instead, you connect uh, your router to the EasyCast through the Ethernet cable and then your EasyCast device is discoverable by every device that connects to your router which means that you, you have to connect to your uh, home internet, your router and once the EasyCast is connected up to your router then you can access it from any device. So instead of um, wireless it uses LAN which makes it a lot more stable, it's, it's really good idea. And so I have it connected up, then my PC connects to the router and I have access to it. So I never got the mirror working, I tried it several times and it simply doesn't work. It's just, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm using 4K resolution, but nevertheless I'll show you how it works. So if you click mirror on, it should mirror into the TV, but there is nothing there. So what we do in here is go into the display settings, I believe it was that one, and connect to a wireless display. That's how you should be able to connect to it, but for me it just doesn't work. I tried it many times, I'm not going to try it on a video again. I have Windows 10, I tried it on Windows 7 too, and it doesn't work. It just shows that it's connecting, but fails to connect, I don't know what's going on. It simply doesn't work for me, unfortunately. Maybe it's because of the 4K resolution, don't know, don't know. But let's uh, show you the... Why, why did it turn itself off now? Like... Wait, 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 wait. Did it just work? I don't see anything on the mirror. I mean... Uh, something just happened. Something definitely just happened. You see it says it's extended. I think it actually worked. But I didn't see anything. Never, never mind. It didn't work. <laughs> anyway. To play a video, click on the video. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't show icons and I don't know why anyone would have videos in System32. That's the default location where it goes, but I'm going into my um, video drive. Uh, this is upper coming video. You're gonna see this soon, in a few days maybe. I'm gonna play this and show you how it works. I can hear it on the background. The reason why I have delay in here doesn't even show right now, I don't know why. I see it on my TV. There we go. I don't know why it has delay. Uh, actually, I do. It's just lagging a little. Okay, the reason why it has a delay in here, right, enough of this, is not because of the easy gas. Don't blame the easy gas. The easy gas has nothing to do with that. The reason why this has a delay, you can see now it says it's paused, buffer, elapsed, is because it's connected through the USB and this is the TV screen you see through the whole or capture card and this is what uh, gives the delay, it has nothing to do with EasyCast. If I click play, it instantly starts playing on my TV. 
it's just this thing you see a uh, small delay so this is how you play videos it also has a cloud video uh, let's try this and let's see if it actually works uh, okay I don't want that da, 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 da. you can log in as you can see you can stream uh, YouTube videos uh, yes, that's a short link for my channel as you can see on some reason it uh, searches it like I'm going to try this again uh, do, 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 do. No, it doesn't take it. I don't know what's wrong with it I have to search myself then there we go YouTube Let's try to play something uh, video. I mean uh, what happened? They just started playing? I don't know, it's like kind of stuck. What's that? Play? It's not doing anything. What is this then? I click play, just play the freaking video. What is, what is this supposed to do then? I don't know why it's not playing. It played last time I tried. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't do that. Let's try this one. Why? What is it doing then? I don't know. It's not playing my videos. It doesn't like it. Why? This is not even my video. What, what's what's going on? <sighs> it doesn't play anything, to be honest. I don't know why. It did work last time, but this is how you're supposed to play videos from YouTube, as you can see. I'll try anything else, some random video. Nope, it's still doing the same. I don't know what the heck the issue is, but that's how you play the stuff from there. You have radio, I don't know what the heck it is. I don't care the migration, just migrate yourself. Oh, you have a lot of um, choices in there. Okay, I know, I don't want to log into EasyCast. Maybe you have to log into, I don't know, you have to make an account, maybe, I don't know. Blah, 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 I don't know. Uh, also, this thing in here. And now you should be seeing it on the TV screen. As I said, this has a good 5 second delay because it has nothing to do with uh, EasyCast. And we are putting it on 1080p, which it wasn't before. Just look at the TV screen. Okay, you will see it in here with a delay. Uh, now it's blue screen. I think the whole bog is messing up. Uh, what the heck just happened? Ugh, oh, problems, problems. I don't know what the hell happened. See, it doesn't detect them um, over the LAN anymore. I don't know. I'm gonna try again. What is this music for? Okay, now it's back. I, I don't know what the hell was that all about then. I see nothing on my TV screen now. What the heck is this? Oh... I don't know. <laughs> Something just messed up. I don't know what the hell happened. The TV is blank. It's not outputting anything. Ugh. This is this is how a bog is right now. That's that's what's going on. Let me try this again. Uh, let's enable. I think the whole bog just had a heart attack. Yes, it did. Use the new resolution. Yes, I want to use the new resolution. Now it works. Now what? blue screen again what is it doing I don't know it it had a heart attack or something it's it's like it's messed up <sighs> okay now it's in 1080p I, I don't know it like had a heart attack and it didn't want to work so and why is it in LAN again what <laughs> I don't know what it's doing right now it's not supposed to okay there we go now it's LAN I mean Wi-Fi why is it Wi-Fi it's supposed to be this whatever <laughs> uh, and that's pretty much all the options you have in here so as you can see on the settings screen there are some uh, few other things I'm looking at default mode via router allowed I'm going back from here but this is how it works guys, so it's pretty easy to set up, it does have a lot of glitches, I do really like the idea, basically like Chromecast, Chromecast, but I never tried it. The idea is really good, but the software, it's, it's shit, 
I mean, I have to be honest. And also, if I'm going into the Google and Google for um, EasyCast software, uh, I've already visited this website. What happens is that, see, it's very simple. You go to download, right? I don't have to actually click on it. Choose Windows, uh, latest version, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what this is, easy guess portable, I don't want portable, XP West, I don't want, this is the latest one, right? 7, 8, 10, Windows, download, right? And then it just goes full Chinese on me, like the hell? You have to click English from there, okay. Uh, you don't actually have to register the account, I think, or actually you do, so they can spam the shit out of you. But I didn't use my uh, actual email, I used an alias account because, I mean, th this is so lame. If you buy a product, just leave me the fuck alone. I don't want your adverts, I don't want your promotions, I just want to use the device. So, okay. Anyway, you have to sign up in here. And then you can just download the software with one click, so it's not that difficult. But I would prefer if they wouldn't bark me with this uh, sign up, so... Then you get this software, this is what I didn't show you before, you have to download it. And if you want to download it from any other device, uh, I believe they do have it in here. Okay, what the hell is this? Let's go back, 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 download. See, you can choose which uh, operating system you want it for. Uh, Chrome OS. Uh, I don't know what's going on, didn't highlight. Android, I don't think you can even download it from here. You have to go into the um, App Store or whatever it is. I don't know where you can download it, or maybe you have to go to this web page through your device. Don't know, haven't tried it, but... But I think you can get it from uh, some Google Play or App Store or whatever. And it's supposed to be free, so you can download it from there and you have it on your phone. And it connects the same way. You connect it up with your device. I don't know why I clicked back. There we go. This is what you see, that's why you sh what you should see. This is the LAN, this is over Wi-Fi, so if your uh, device doesn't have the LAN connection to the router, then you can click uh, wireless, connect it through the wireless, and it gives you the same kind of screen, and you can stream your videos from your phone, tablet, or anything you have. I think it's pretty easy, I don't think there's anything um, difficult about this, so I showed you how to set this up. Over the wireless you also have to enter this in here, as you can see, EasyCast LAN, you connect to this network, and the password is this. You can change that from the settings. You go into the settings in here, and then you see it on the TV screen in a second. There we go. It changes. I think it was more. Let's go into more. And just look at the TV screen. Yes, there we go. That's where it is. See, you can change the password. You can change the device name. I changed it to easy as LAN. The default name is shown up here. But you can change all this, so if you want that. And that's about it, I'd say. It's very easy to use, to be honest. It does have box, but I don't know. I think it's quite good device. It's pretty, pretty awesome that it connects through the LAN uh, like this. It's more stable than the other one. But anyway, I will see ya next time.